Well, cool. So what I'd like to do is show you how to uh, graph a linear system. And what we have here is we just have this, this little bracket that's saying y equals 5x plus 2 and y equals 3x. And what we want to do is we want to solve this system by graphing both equations. And the solution, remember, of a systems of equations, especially um, two linear equations, is going to be the intersection of these two equations. So what we simply need to do is just graph both of these equations and then see where they intersect. So when graphing, I'll create my x and my y axis. All right, and I'll just use my intervals. I'll try to be as consistent as I can. So now what we need to do is just remember that when graphing, um, a lot of times also when we have it in y equals mx plus b form, remember b represents our y-intercept. So here, our y-intercept is the coordinate point 0, 2. So I'm going to go up 2 and make a nice big dot. Then over here is going to be my slope. And remember, slope we can write as a fraction of 5 over 1 if it's a whole number. If it's already a fraction, then you already have it as a fraction. And you can apply the rise over 1. But here we have 5 over 1. So I'm going to go up 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 over 1. I can also go in the negative direction, down 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to the left 1. All right. So that's going to be my first linear equation. Now I'm going to go and graph y equals 3x. Now remember, y equals 3x, um, that has a y-intercept of 0. right? Because if you add 0 to 3x, you're still just going to have 0. So the y-intercept is at 0. And now the slope is going to be 3 over 1. And rather than just rewrite it or change it, I can just put, a, put the 3 over the 1. So that's going to tell me to go up 3 to the right one, or I could also go down 3 to the left one. And I could, if I continue that, 1, 2, 3 to the left one. Actually, oh, be over there. You can see that these two graphs, as they're very close in their slope, but they intersect at our coordinate point, negative 1, 1, 2, 3, negative 3. So therefore, that's your intersection of these two equations. So that's going to be the solution of our linear system, which will be the coordinate point negative 1, negative 3. And what that means is, remember, that's x and y. So that means when x equals negative 1 and y equals negative 3, both of these equations are going to be true. Um, since we only have one point, or since we have a solution, we know our solution is going to be consistent. And since there's only one solution, we know that it's going to be independent. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you graph a linear system. Thanks.